Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. All right, let's talk about how bucket columns work in reports. Here I've got an opportunity report and we're just gonna add some basic fields to it like the opportunity name, the stage, maybe the dollar amount, but you could pick any report, any fields, doesn't, doesn't really matter. So this is my basic report. Now, something a lot of people want to do in their reports is create groupings, right? You want to group your deals. And if you try to group your deals by dollar amount, you get kind of an awkward report where it tries to group by literally every dollar amount. And that's just not what you intuitively want or would expect when you try to group by dollar amount. So let me show you something called the bucket column. So here I'm just going to create a new bucket column. And the way this works is you pick the field that you'd like to bucket. So here we'll just pick the amount field and give your new bucket column a name. So I'll call it like my deal size bucket. And now what we're saying is for every deal that's smaller than $30,000, we're just going to call that small. Uh, everything within this range is medium and everything else is large. And you can even add little emojis to your labels there if you like. And now we have a new column in our report for deal size. And it essentially is like a little formula that runs on each row of the report. And it now allows us to group our deals by deal size, right? So we can see small deals, medium deals, and large deals using the opportunity amount field for that grouping. Now, another way to do this is to just pick the field you want right from the report, click that little drop down arrow and create a bucket column from there. And different types of fields have different ways of creating bucket columns. So in this case, this is a pick list field. It's not a dollar amount. So instead of giving ranges, you pick the specific values you want and say, well, these stages of the sales cycle will go into this bucket and these other stages will go into that bucket. And so now my deal can be broken down into early, mid, late, and let's say closed deal stages. So you can do this with number fields. We could do this with pick list fields. And now when I run the report, you're now going to see yet another column. And in this case, it's for life cycle. And now I can have a really interesting report. I can group by life cycle by deal size. So show me all of my early stage deals that are small, medium, and large. And if you enjoyed this video, you should know I do a live webinar every Tuesday and Thursday where you can come and learn something about Salesforce and ask me questions live. Hope to see you there.